Hello, I'm Doug with B&H, and today I have a special guest. This is Sean from Panasonic. He's showing us a brand new camera, the GX85. So in a few words, what can you tell us about this camera? This is kind of our, our newest camera. It is the true successor to say the GX7. Uh, it's our smaller, lighter, more compact, travel-friendly street shooter, uh, mirrorless camera now. With the GX7 being the predecessor to this, uh, like what features did you either add or remove going forward with the uh, 85? So we brought back the uh, 16 by 9 viewfinder. We have the tilt screen is back, the flash is back, uh, and the overall size and, and rough design is back to that smaller, lighter compact. Mm, in contrast to like the bigger... The GX8, yeah. Mm. But we upgraded a few things. We put a brand new sensor in this guy. Uh, we have a 16 megapixel uh, sensor, which same resolution, but we've removed the low pass filter now. So now, feature-wise, uh, this is 60 megapixel, and I think the biggest thing that I noticed was the five-axis stabilization. Yeah, yeah. So we've we've upped upped our game with our stabilization. Uh, the previous system was a four-axis mechanical stabilizer. We've now added a five-axis magnetic stabilizer. So it it just works way more efficiently for super telephoto lenses for wide-angle shooting. It's active during 4K video. It's active when you do the punch in for magnification for manual focusing and it works with any lens you throw at it. You throw true old school mechanical lenses to this thing and it's going to stabilize them. Beautiful. Yeah. That's what I want. <laughs> <laughs> um, so just moving on, uh, for the photo features, I think the big thing here would be the burst modes, right? Yeah, so so 4K, since um, 4K is just kind of ubiquitous with the industry now, everyone's got it. Um, we've kind of expanded on that, especially for the photographers. Mm -hmm. We've taken the fact that the camera does 4K video at 30 frames per second, and we've kind of morphed it into the ability to shoot stills with that mode now. Uh, so we've added three, three separate modes. We've got burst, pre-burst, and start-stop. Start-stop and burst are very similar. They're just like you would think, uh, as their names are. Burst is hold the button down, shoots. Start, stop is just like a camcorder, start, stop. But pre-burst is the one that kind of gets a little, you know, people scratching their heads. Pre-burst does what camcorder, what the camcorder world know as uh, pre-roll. Mm. Records one second into the buffer at all times, and then the second you click the shutter button, it records that additional second. So you never miss that moment exactly. if you realize something's just happening. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Let you then select on the back of the camera through those 60 frames and then save out an 8.3 megapixel JPEG. Wow. Can you like use that mode, um, I guess, during normal photography operation, or is it like a special thing that you have to enable? So as opposed to the G7 where it was an actual mode dial, you had to turn it mm -hmm. uh, on the top, or the GH4 where you have to dig into the menu to mm -hmm. change it, uh, it is actually now just part of the uh, the drive mode oh, selection down here. So okay. once you press that, it'll be where you've got burst mode, uh, self timer, things like that. You can just roll right over to 4K photo, and then the sub menu lets you select burst, pre burst, or stop. Oh, wow. So that really does make it like a much more accessible. A lot easier. Yeah. And then with this one also, if you don't want to use the drive modes, we did actually add two um, two of the 4K photo style modes now. Mm -hmm as hard buttons that can be re reprogrammed if, if you don't want to use them there. It's got our 4K photo up here in FN3 and our um, post focus on FN1. So now that brings us to 4K video, which is everywhere. Um, but there are some new features here, right? Yes. Um, so again, with that kind of trend of us leading things you can do with 4K, mm -hmm. we've kind of allowed the, the videographer or even the, the amateur photographer that, or even pro photographer that just wants to play with, with some added step up features in video, the ability to shoot 4K video as an output in 1080 for things like a dolly zoom or a pan effect all in camera. Um, we during call this recording. Yeah, during recording. And we call this 4K live crop. So it lets you select a start and stop mm. region, which could be either the full frame or up down to a 1080 crop out of the whole visible frame in a 20 second or 40 second clip. And once you click the button, it'll run that path, either you know, cross frame, horizontal, vertical, however you want to set it up, because it uses the full touch screen in the back to figure this out. And then it outputs a 1080 30 frame per second file using the higher bit rate that the 1080 30 just naturally has wow. with the camera. Um, now does that work with the stabilization? Yes. So this lets you use all of our lenses with dual IS, um, those that are compatible and and even the ones that aren't, you can still stabilize in the camera or use the optic stabilizer. And now you can use full manual lenses. So you got the trunk of those old, old, uh, old uh, manual focus lenses, you throw them on here and I you can do, stabilize them. I do them. use some of those, yes. 
Yeah. Um, I know. Any, I mean, I know video shooters especially will will love that. Cause, oh yeah. Yeah. Um, so let's talk a little bit about the uh, features, so software options. Um, I know this is Wi-Fi. Mm -hmm. um, any additional like creative modes or uh, editing abilities in the camera? Yeah. So um, like with a lot of our cameras, like you said, it has Wi-Fi. Lets you do things from geotagging to send full-size resolution JPEGs to your phone with iOS or Android. Uh, and on top of that, say you shoot raw in the camera, we do let you do the in-camera raw processing. Mm -hmm. Uh, which lets you take that raw, convert it however you want it with all your different um, tools to tweak it out, and then send it over to your phone. Uh, in addition, we added a new color profile, uh, which is L monochrome, which gives you a little bit more punchy monochrome, a um, little bit higher contrast, but pulls the highlights back in a bit, so you can really get that kind of uh, smooth, smooth, edgy kind of, I know mm -hmm. those are kind of contradictory, but it, eh. <laughs> it's it's one of those that you just have to shoot it and then you'll kind of understand it when you see it. Knowing that cameras like have come to this, especially Micro Four Thirds cameras, they've come to this like really small size, but with pretty much every manual feature you need. Mm -hmm. Obviously they have interchangeable lenses, uh, throw in the Wi-Fi and you've got something that prevents you from using your phone. As a <laughs> we always tend to throw everything in the kitchen sink on cameras, so. I know, I, 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 full disclosure. But uh, thank you for showing me the GX85. Of course. Uh, I hope everybody enjoyed. Thank you for watching, bye-bye. Whether you're a hobbyist or a professional, b &H has the answers to your questions. Experience a world of technology at our New York City Superstore. Connect with us online or give us a call. Our staff of experts is happy to help.